This is Paul Varga. And this is Billy Sheehan. And we're from? Dallas. That's right. <laughs> You're watching us right here on BackstageAccess.com where the real show begins. BackstageAccess.com, we're here at the Niagara Falls Hard Rock Cafe with the legendary Buffalo band, the original Buffalo band, rock band, Talus. How are you guys doing? We're doing good. We're missing Billy, Dave. But, Billy uh, and Paul, Dave's on his way, but uh, we're going to talk to two rock and roll, Buffalo Rock and Roll Hall of Famers, and uh, these guys just did an amazing show last night for the biggest crowd that ever witnessed a show here at the Hard Rock. How, how did you guys feel about the show last night? I had a fantastic time. <laughs> I had as much fun as everybody in the audience. Yeah. That's Ten true. grand. That was the biggest crowd they ever had here. It's incredible. Yeah. I heard it was 15, but I'll take that. Okay, we'll, we'll say 15. Billy's probably know. right. We're we not bad with we numbers. Had a fantastic time. Uh, beyond your expectations? Yes. Yeah, yes. for sure. I mean, I expected it to be great. Yeah. But uh, the people were so great to us. I mean, everybody was like, uh, you know, we knew everybody. Okay. Um, it's been almost 40 years since Tail has formed. Can you guys believe it's been that long, 40 years? I can't believe we started when I'll hold we were it up for you. <laughs> we started when we were fetuses. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> These guys were amazing last night. Great set. How did you guys put the set together? Well, we just uh, discussed what we wanted to do and uh, did some of our favorite songs and some of their favorite songs. Okay. Yeah, we got some emails from people and some requests, and we. Uh, Jumbled it all together, figured out how much time we had, and uh, squeezed it in. Uh, and talking to people, they travel from all over the place to come to this gig. We're talking a lot of states and some from overseas. Um, any, what do you guys think about all these people coming in from all over the place to check this gig out? It's great to see people from all over that still love the band. Right. I have friends that came in from Florida, flew into Florida for this gig. And they, cool. They love Billy. We all do. <laughs> It yeah, was a big to-do. from all over. And we can mention Carolyn Mosier put this thing. It's been yeah. a work in progress for like three years, right? Yeah. Carolyn is the greatest. She's been taking care of us. Uh, everything perfect to the max. For, for me anyway, I, I, I can't complain. You guys actually uh, I videotaped this uh, yesterday. Is this going to be a possible, maybe a future live release? Do you know? Or? Don't know. We'll see. No. Uh, uh, we'll, we'll find out who, who videotaped it and get in touch <laughs> with them. <laughs> Try to do better. <laughs> I would have known that. Going back, in case uh, people don't know, how did you guys get the name Talus? Well, um, actually, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, it was after Dave's horse, Lady okay. Talus. Yeah, there was a horse named Talus. But Dave's a notoriously bad speller, so it's probably how not how it was spelled. So well, they spelled it wrong on the TV the other day. Oh, really? Yeah. Funny stories. The first gig you guys ever did, do you remember it? And like a funny story from it. Um, Gee, the first we the did together first, as Talos. That's a good question. The, uh, the Big Ten, and we got locked out, and our road crew got thrown in jail or something. Oh, that was that could have been right the, down there, yeah. The Big Ten yeah. Club on the lake. I don't even know if it's there anymore, but we played there, and yeah, yeah. it was on the lake. And um, we left our stuff there, and the guy that was supposed to come didn't come with the key, so the window was open, so our crew went in, opened the door, took our gear, and the police came. <laughs> and I don't know what happened after that, but I, I think they're all right now. That's a good, that's a good story. Jail by now. <laughs> I was going to say, and the most memorable performance Talos has ever done. Opinions for both of you guys. Billy, for you first. Well, uh, the 97, uh, 1997 first reunion, that was great. Client hands? Uh, yeah. Okay. But, but last night's going to be hard to beat. Yeah. that was. I would have to agree with that and say no more. <laughs> uh, because it really was a 97 one. Klein hands was awesome, and last night was, I can't tell you how much fun I had. All right, for out there, the uh, the, the album Sink Your Teeth. Uh, who designed that album cover? Do you guys remember? Actually, Jim Bush was a photographer, and he found a sculptor who had sculpted some uh, uh, highly commissioned work, like some government commissioned work, and was a really well-known guy too. I forgot his name. And that it was originally done in clay, and that's how it works in clay, and then they make it out of metal. It was an actual sculpture about this big. I mean, we saw it in person. Okay. 
it was all naked bodies that made up, and a snake right. that made up this thing, that, <laughs> his face. And uh, were there some controversial uh, yeah, things? Yeah, there's some, some, some controversy surrounding it, thankfully. <laughs> added, added to the publicity. Yeah. Uh, one of the biggest tours you guys ever did was Van Halen back in 1980, a couple months on a row with when they were in their prime partying it up. And tell us any stories from that tour. No. <laughs> oh, there's, there's a no, lot of stories. there's a lot of stories. A good story. One of the um, stories. See, I, I don't, don't know. know. Every night was a, you know, we, we could stay every night, and we figured, we figured well, now nah, we'll stay a couple nights, and, and we'll go. We'll get Because we had to travel 36 hours sometimes, and we stayed because they started to play, and it was so great. And we, had, we could go anywhere. We could go up in the rigging. We could go anywhere we want, and we had a ball. So, I mean, the whole thing was, was great. For me, and, yeah, they uh, were in their prime, absolute prime. They were untouchable. At their worst, they were spectacular. Is it is it true about the uh, brown M and M's? Did you guys inspect oh, that? And make sure there was nothing. That's, no that's a great story. Now, all they wanted was a little fifty-nine cent bag of M and M's in a little bowl, where there's probably ten or fifteen brown M and M's. Well, we played Notre Dame, and these girls were so mad. They were like walking around huffing and puffing. They had a bowl this big, and they must have had. Five huge bags. It took them three days to get the brown M&Ms out. <laughs> it's true. And they were really mad at them. But it was, it was kind of, they were kind of cute. They were. Actually, they, they played in Rochester, and I went to see them one time. Okay. And right on the top was a brown, and I, I found it. <laughs> hey, you guys are brown. And the, the, oh, all hell broke loose. It was unbelievable. Good going. Just to see if anybody's reading the rider out there. Probably true. Get it in his pocket. <laughs> Uh, music wise, tell us, we'll start off with Paul, what are you up to? Uh, besides obviously the Talos thing. Um, I've got a couple other little projects that I'm doing, a little all-star band around town. Okay. But I'm, I'm kind of laying low for the summer. Right. But I, I've got a couple recordings that I'm working on. Uh, and Billy obviously has got his hand in everything. Tell us what's going on with you. Well, a bunch of stuff. A uh, new Niacin record just uh, okay. got completed. That's coming out soon. Dennis Chambers on drums. Uh, I'm going to do a tour with Mike Portnoy, Tony McAlpine, and Derek Sherinian this fall. And I'm working on a record with uh, Mike Portnoy and uh, Richie Kotzen. Okay, so obviously very, very busy. Any tell us future plans? Could we, you know, another gig possibly down the line? Any future recordings? Nope. Like we talked about maybe a live DVD? Anything? No plans yet. No plans Nothing? yet. But this is the first I've seen him since last night. So we, <laughs> we'll have a talk later. Yeah, we, we've had a few talks tonight. Said maybe we should do it again on our 40th, which is yeah, next 14. year is our 40th anniversary. So yeah. we'll see. Well, we appreciate both Billy and Paul talking to us from the legendary Buffalo band Talus on BackstageExus.com. Thanks, guys, for taking the time. Yeah.